Little did he know that this girl was gonna do something. Something's gonna happen. I have no idea what. She'll teach him the game of Gungi and love. Of love and Gungi. Check X and X mate. As any ruthless cell like dictator would do. Yeah, I was definitely imagining more cell Dragon Ball from this, unless March comes in like a lion. But here we are. That is the power of Hunter x Hunter. Kind of what I'm saying. Oh yeah, that guy. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. I know only Gungi. Gungi is life. This guy exploring all the tantalizing ideas. だまれと言われ口を閉じて鼻が詰まっていたため。お、Her face changed, but this not did not. おお、電源入れてないみたい。元々。あの、時代作 <laughs> Here's a trait that Gon and Tanjiro have in common. They're just not really that adept at social reading, which I would argue usually comes from just a lack of care and concern, or not really thinking or seeing a threat in it. I think people like that find themselves in situations where they introduce different parties from different groups and then are confused as to why things don't go well. Like, I like this person and I like this person. Why wouldn't this person also like this person and vice versa? If I had to pick an extreme though, I probably would pick Gon. Let other people figure it out. I'd rather be there than overanalyzing every detail of every little thing. Good with animals. They just follow... Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, they just follow Knuckle around. What a tough guy. You're ex exposing me. There's nothing bad about it, Knuckle. Don't apologize. It's okay to cry. <laughs> oh, all right. He can't be bad. He's a dog lover too. A lot of softies all around. Divided by Nen, united by dogs. It's funny owning a cat and then meeting other cat owners. You don't say anything, but you, you both know you know. You know something. And you both know you know. You share an insanity. And yet you lost. Maybe her true skill lies in having mastered the basics, like Free Rin. How will the king react to his own domination? If I have to guess, I would say excitement. Energized by Gungi. That's probably why she's so great at it. If it's any consolation, I probably won't take that long. It's the top of the Gungi world. Checkmate. Oh no! He can't even escape in death! Wow, that's awful. 
煙のオーラで覆うと核のオーラに込められた念の操作条件に従って自在に動き回る最大で216体縁では人か人形か区別しきれないのがこっちの大きなアドバンテージレフェルピトはアリの性質上王のそばを離れない案の定すぐに操り人形を首都に集結させ防御重視の構え This is their answer that they don't have to. Even with all their power, they're not leaving any chance to underestimate their opponents. That was surprisingly vicious. Oh, it's you. And he's got new powers. And they managed to remove it. Knuckles even more neutralized. Krolo could really use this. まずはあんたを型にはめて次はリーゼントだ。え、し、いつだろう、ローネズイ。自信、無根拠じゃねえ。何か新しい能力を得たな。Very smart。ナックルとシュートのやり方は完全なヒットアンドアウェイ。Right。ナックルの箱割れをシュートがサポートする作戦だ。しかし、こちらの念で相手の念を封じ込める作戦は。I remember when Moral was first introduced, I got put off by him mostly because I was being defensive of Kalua. Because Moral was basically criticizing Kalua for leaving a situation or being terrified of a situation in, in which he was clearly outmatched. And my thoughts were that it was very easy for Moral to take that stance, having just showed up knowing nothing about the situation at all. But, I mean, here it is, and he's living up to his words. The benefit of hindsight, what he said has a lot of credibility. <laughs> I mean, starting with speed. Oh, is it knuckle like? Oh, that's really cool considering the speed thing, too. You gotta catch him? Or is it like his domain or something? And we don't know who. Yeah, 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 this is what I thought it might be. Oh, no. This, place, this is such a great compliment to his existing abilities. Did he design this himself? Because it does seem to have taken some inspiration from Knuckle. Well, I don't know if Moral's really the type for, like, sprinting. What? Oh, is that all it is? Oh, I thought it was like you die. Oh, that's a lot less deadly than I thought it would be. That was terrifying for a second. Moral making me proud by rejecting his binary game. He's a true hunter. This is only really an advantage if the opponent's way stronger than you. Kind of seems like a wash, otherwise. And that kind of weakens the plan. I think you, yeah, honestly, I think you play the game. Or wait. You want to learn more about this condition first? Or the, the power first? Worth a try. I, I guess they'll risk you. This is very important information. The fact that he can actually sleep deeply in a situation like this. The king not the only one playing 3D Gunji over here. Really hate this guy. His then power is rat, narc. King getting schooled. Can't figure out her rhythm. Not even hesitating. 
This is March comes in like a lion. The feeling like you're drowning. That's terrifying feeling when you realize you're just scratching the surface of someone else's genius. <laughs> World conquest is cancelled. It's time for a much more important endeavor. Beating this little girl in Gunji. It almost has to be something about being the best, being the most advanced. Otherwise, he'd just kill her. If he killed her, he would become the best, right? By default. So it's not that. I mean, that's an all too common thing. We're wired for value and ranking. We have a drive to be exceptional. We're built with an internal self-esteem radar and egos and the propensity to compare and evaluate ourselves against others for a reason. Probably nature's way of pushing us as far as we can go or making us retreat if we're overwhelmed so that we survive. Because the first condition for success is not being eliminated, not having a game over event. But with that ensured, the maximal mode of success, the most rewarding success is going as far as you possibly can. But with that inherent radar comes all sorts of perverse strategies to try to attain it. One of which is rather than trying to raise oneself up through merit and growth because that will require sacrifice which is difficult and painful instead trying to bring other people down and destroying other people's progress so that you are comparatively higher in the rankings without having risen anywhere without having improved at all this seems to be such a large part of human behavior and psychology most notable in in people who for whatever variety of reasons feel like they can't get what they want or they don't believe in their own ability to affect change in their life they've lost the tactile grip on what they could get out of the world with their own actions and so the instinctive recourse is to lash and strike out. The king is not that. There is some higher ideal there. There is something he's pushing for. It's not ego at all costs. It's not self-preservation at all costs. It's not existential angst. It's not a feeling of hatred or fear of others based on a perception of one's own powerlessness. He wants to win every game the right way. Maybe, you know, I don't know where it's going, but a weakness of that is you don't have to win every subset of the game to win the most important game. The real importance of the smaller games is to give you a more tangible, more digestible, smaller version of the real larger game so that you can learn things from it and contribute to the larger games. And the smaller games are only useful towards that purpose. I don't know, maybe this whole war is cancelled. Maybe we don't need to have a whole interspecies thing. Maybe we've settled it. If the king follows the same sort of trajectory he's following with Gunji, and he discovers that the game is Nen is life, maybe there's a whole different path, a whole different road this goes down.